Okay. Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is October 16th, 2023. So, I have not posted in the past couple of days. Um, I think my last video was October, Friday the 13th. And today is the 16th. So, Monday, October 16th, 2023. So, before I get started, um, by the way, the reason why I haven't posted is because I needed to... So time is a, time is space. Okay, let me just cut to it, right? I had to give space from like my last reading, I guess. Um, so yeah, I had to give uh, space from my last reading. But aside from that, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If they resonate with you, gives you clarity, great. If it doesn't, then don't force it to be your story, right? Okay, so. Let me uh, get this going. So it's a Monday. It's the start of a new week. Um, also, that eclipse, woof, right? That, that eclipse, right? <laughs> So that was surely something. This is interesting. Um, so that was something, all right. All right, I'm gonna get, yeah, okay. I just, I guess I would have just like jump into tarot. So I hope everyone's having a great week so far. I know it's like only Monday morning. It's like not even 10 o'clock, but I hope uh, it's like 931 right here right now. Well, when I'm recording this, um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Or at least try to have a great weekend, right? Let me. All right. Page of Cups. So, there's something about news. So, I don't, I, the reason why I'm saying news, I'm not just saying good news or bad news, is because at this moment, I can't tell if the news is good or bad. However, the way this news is being delivered, it's very cheerful. Like, it's supposed to be, like, um, I don't, the, the way that it's coming across is kind of almost like gossip. Like, did you hear about so-and-so? Right? Like, you gotta be careful with gossip because, you know, um, it's gossip. There isn't, like, you, you can't be for sure if, like, when you hear gossip, it's true or false. Like, you just don't know for sure unless you're told otherwise from, like, the horse's mouth, okay? But I feel like in this situation, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like you're gonna get good news like so you're gonna get someone's gonna tell you something like in the form of like news or something they're just i don't know they're just gonna tell you something but the way it's being delivered it's kind of like cheerful even though that it might be bad news which is so funny because i was watching this skit on social media and it was about how the skit literally it was called when someone you don't like dies and the person, the character, they were pretending like, you know, uh, what were they saying? They so they said, um, so and so, you know, they they you know they were so and so, you know, um, they lived a life and you know they died. Like it was like no, nothing good could be said about this person, but it's like the news of their passing was kind of like finally they're out of my hair or something like that. So I don't want to say it's like news of a passing, but it's kind of like. That's what I'm thinking about. Like, the skit was called when you hear somebody you don't like dies. It's something like that. 
So it's news. The way it's being delivered to you, it's like cheerful, but I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess it would depend on you. But you also need to be cautious when you hear this information because, again, there might be something fishy about this information. The higher fit reverse. Okay, wow. Um, you have to be cautious, especially if this is going to be like gossip being delivered to you. All right, so be cautious about it. I also feel like somebody is going to be a little, if this is gossip, they're like all too happy to tell you this. Like, I don't know. It's like they've been dying to say this. Uh, anyways, so we have the Hierophant in reverse. This could be about a, um, a union breaking up, a union falling apart, a relationship, a marriage, a, a friendship, a business, a job. So this is the gossip. Is for some of you, this gossip could be like, did you hear so and so broke up, or did you hear so and so got fired, or did you hear so and so got put out, or did you hear so and so? It's something like that. It's something that, like, I feel like for a, a majority of you, it's something about a relationship. Like, did you hear so and so are no longer together? Did you hear so and so got a divorce? Did you? It's something like that. So be cautious, but I, because I, I feel like. This news is being spread with, like, cheer, right? And depending on who you are, um, this could be like, oh, my God, wow, or just like, wow, finally. I don't know. I guess it depends on who you are, really. So there's that. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be people in your family talking about this. So if you are no longer in a union and in a relationship, right? If you got a divorce or you broke up or you moved on or whatever the situation happened, there are people in your family gossiping about this and talking about this and like spreading this news with cheer. That's what it is. There are people in your family. So if you recently got into a breakup or something like that, right? Or... um. It's happening right now. I, I don't know. But there are people spreading this news about your breakup with cheer. It's like, oh my gosh, wow, all these cards. The star reverse, three of swords reverse. So, okay, so the three of swords reverse is more so pointing towards this over here. So whatever this divorce is, whatever this breakup is, it's not really affecting you. Like you don't really, it's, you're not heartbroken about it. But I also feel like there are, the people who are talking about this, they're like, the reason why they're so cheerful about this news is because like, I don't know, like, they don't even feel bad about talking about this. It's kind of like, I don't know, like, they're gossiping about this and they're talking about this and they're just kind of like, like, there's no remorse about it. It's like, they're happy about this. But I feel like in your situation, whatever's going on, it's like, you're not in any kind of three of swords upright about this situation. And then we have the star reversed. It's interesting because the star reverse is on top of the future card. I feel like whatever is going on, these people, they're, they don't, there's something about their future. So they feel like whatever is going on right now, it's going to like affect your future. But you're in the three of swords reverse about this breakup. So they're going around cheerfully gossiping about this and you're just in the three of swords reverse like you're just like okay whatever and then with the to this wow the star reverse I, I don't know these people like they still can't see their own future there's something about their lack of foresight with their future they wanted you to be in the star reverse when it came to your future This is um, the moon, horizontal. 
So there are things being kept hidden and there are things that are being revealed at the same time simultaneously. So plans, whatever plans that are in your future collective, those that's what's being kept hidden. Or whatever plans you have for your future, whatever plans that God has for your future, that's being kept hidden. What's being revealed is the fact that these people have like no, uh, they lack foresight when it comes to their future, I guess. It's like they can't really see, I don't want to say beyond the veil, but it's like they can't really see past some sort of pillar point in their life. You also, oh my God, you also know, uh, like, Secrets, these people's, like, secrets. There could be things that are being revealed about these people or about this person. All right, um... So there's, there's a couple of things going on right now. This is collective right here. And then this is um, the collective like intertwined with like karmics, I guess. Because whatever breakup, whatever divorce, whatever ending, that's... Oh, hold on. Um, whatever ending that's happening it's not like affecting you with the three of swords reverse like I there's something about the way that it's like not affecting you so the reason why one of the reasons why they're like gossiping about this and spreading this news with like cheer like it's it's like Christmas time, like good news, good cheer all around. That's that's the energy that's coming from like your news of breakup. That's how everyone's talking about it. And it's like they're having drinks over it, they're talking about it, they're a chipper about it, but it's like it I don't it's like okay, it doesn't matter, I guess. There's this three of swords reverse. It's they're talking about it with great cheer, but it's not the 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 situation itself that's not affecting you, like it doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but it's not, um, it doesn't bother you, I guess. Like, you're still happy despite the fact that people are talking about this because it doesn't bother you. So you're happy still, and then these people are happy because of a breakup that you were involved in, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, that almost like flipped over in my hand. Queen of Pentacles. Why are you here, Queen of Pentacles? Oh, I just saw the Hermit reverse. So there could be a Queen of Pentacles that's that lacks foresight. Or honestly, this could just be like a really um, feminine, masculine Virgo. A Virgo who just operates out of like very karmic feminine energy, like very gossipy, um, likes to have their hands in multiple pots, like to have their ear around some, they're, they're focused on like finances, material things. And I feel like that whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, it's like she doesn't really have to do much of inner work because it's like, I have all my money. I'm good. I don't have to do anything else. So if this could be um, a Queen of Pentacles or a King of Pentacles, but whoever this person is, it's kind of like because they feel like they are, when it comes to their finances, they don't have to do anything else. This is the person that lacks foresight. There's a, there's a third person in here. There's a collective, there's this person. And then there's this like the community trying to like be nosy with the collective. But no matter what, it's like the collective's 
God has the collective's plans kept secret, hidden. It's a, it's like a secret to these people. What your plans are, what God has in store for you, that's a secret. And it's like because they can't like see it, they can't hear it, they they don't know about it. It's making them very um toxic. But there's a Queen of Pentacles in here. Why are you all up in here? This is a person who, like I said, they have finances, right? They're stable. They have their finances. They have their mind, uh, their money. They. There's also something about like a magician type energy from this Queen of Pentacles. It's like because she can manipulate anything, she doesn't have to do any inner work. This person's very toxic. Whoa, Two of Wands. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she's got a plan. She's planning something. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? All of this is starting because of the Hierophant in reverse. This is this was like the pinnacle of like everything right now, right? In this reading, I would say. In this reading, because of the Hierophant in reverse. The lover's reverse. There is something and something ended. We've got there is a Queen of Pentacles that's moving away from people. Yeah, that's what that is. We got the Lovers Reverse, the Hermit Reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Diagno, heading towards the Two of Wands. So, you could be this Queen of Pentacles, and there's, um, there's also like another Queen of Pentacles, I feel like. I should get another deck out. This Queen of Pentacles is moving away from partnerships and people who um, are not going within. Oh, boy. Wheel of Fortune. That goes on top of the two of wands, but like on a higher, um, so it goes like that. So let's say that collective, you ended something out. An ending happened, right? Either with a union, a relationship, a marriage, a friendship, a business, whatever this was, you ended this out. And you moved away from people who just, um, I don't know, lovers reverse, the hermit reverse. This is like a, there's like no depth within this union, within this relationship, within this friendship, business, whatever this is, there is no depth into it. So this Queen of Pentacles just moved on, right? She's got a plan. God's got a plan for her. Or for some of you, it could be a King of Pentacles. God's got a plan for this uh, person of pentacles, which is leading them to the wheel of fortune. It's like they're going towards karma, good karma and good luck. But here's the thing. People in the community are talking not about her plans because they don't know what her plans are. And the people that are talking about her plans, these are toxic people. And they can only assume and uh, make assumptions because, again, like I said, her plans are being kept hidden. God is, God knows what he's doing with this Queen of Pentacles. 
And this is all starting because of an ending that happened to a Queen of Pentacles. The whole community is talking about this. But it's interesting because it's the Queen of Pentacles who is in the Three of Swords reverse about this ending. But people are talking about it, like spreading it, like good cheer. Like, did you hear what happened to the collective? Did you hear what happened to so-and-so? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? But the thing is, the Queen of Pentacles, she's not paying attention to this because she's already, she's got plans. She's going towards her Wheel of Fortune. Um, I have to get one more for the star in reverse. So, you could be this Queen of Pentacles. There, like, I, there's also um a Queen of Pentacles who doesn't care about going within. I said that earlier, and that still stands. There is somebody out here who doesn't care. Like, it's like whoever this person is, whether they are a Queen of Pentacles or a King of Pentacles, right? This is a separate person. This person, they don't care or they don't, they feel like they don't need to like go within, like they don't have to do any inner work. They don't have to work on themselves. They don't have to like be enlightened. They don't have to study. They don't have to learn. They feel like because their finances are good and they're fin financially set, they don't have to do any of that spiritual work or shadow work or inner work, whatever it is, because it's like, I got my money. I'm fine. I'm good. As long as I'm financially stable, I don't need anything else. That's, there's two people of pentacles out here. One person kind of just stopped when it came, when they got finances, they kind of just stopped working, I guess, on their highest good or their, their self or their better self. And then the other person is kind of like, they're just walk, continuously walking away from things and like letting these endings happen that these endings that have no depth, there's no depth with these connections, with these um, unions, relationships, businesses, there's no depth. And whoever this other Queen of Pentacles is that's walking away because of the lack of depth in there, she's going towards her Wheel of Fortune. And that's what's at the top, Wheel of Fortune. Now you have to be careful because the Queen of Pentacles that is walking away from the lack of depth in her, their lives that is going towards their wheel of fortune. You, if you are that queen of fortune, um, queen of fortune, wow, queen of fortune, uh, collective, you are that queen of pentacle, not the karmic queen of pentacle. Oh my god, I just choked on air. Oh my gosh. So if you are, you're this queen of pentacles that's going towards like the wheel of fortune. You have to be careful because there is another energy that is trying to get like a piece of your pie. You see how this fortune is kind of like broken up into like a graph of pie, like a pie graph. You have to be cautious, but that's a little side note of a side note. All right. It's not entirely relevant at the moment because um, that's not something that you need to focus on at right now. It's not like in your face right now. All right. That's just kind of like. Um, this is why it's going to be down the line, so pay attention, all right? Uh, but aside from that, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, let me get something for the star reverse. Oh, you know what? There could be an Aquarius, a toxic Aquarius that's upset because they can't figure out your plans. Yeah, that's what that is. Your plan, I keep, I've been saying that. Your plans are being kept hidden and secret from God. And I did say that there was a toxic person in the beginning, right? Um, it's this Queen of Pentacles. The, the toxic Queen of Pentacles is the one that once they got their finances, they kind of just stopped doing their work. They feel like they don't have to do any work. Inner work, what's that? Love, what's that? Shadow work, I don't need it. They don't, that's, that's who that karmic Queen of Pentacles is. And then the other Queen of Pentacles which would be you, collective. You're the one that's leaving the lack of depth in your lives, whether it's relationships, unions, partnerships, businesses, jobs, family, friends, whatever lack of depth there is, you're leaving it. You're leaving it. Then there's this toxic Aquarius and the star reverse. They're kind of like PO'd at the fact that your secrets are being kept hidden while theirs are being revealed. 
All right, let me get something for the star reverse. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, reverse. So their lack of finances could be what's being revealed. And I feel like they're trying to cover something. They're trying to, um, oh, you know what? That's what it is. In the beginning of the video, I talked about how somebody, uh, people were all too happy, uh, all too cheerful to talk about your endings, this union ending, right? Gossiping, cheerful. Oh my God, did you hear so-and-so, right? So this gossip is, it could be like, um, it's being spread depending on who the person is that's talking about this, right? If they're karmics, they're talking about like, oh my God, did you hear blah, 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 right? It's, they're spreading it with like good news and good cheer. I feel like you collective, you don't really care though. It's kind of like, it is what it is. Like I have got plans. Like you can talk about whatever you want. I've got plans, right? But one of the main reasons why, and I did say people in the community were talking about this. This could be your, your family, your friends, uh, more so family or family like people. But um, the real reason why people are talking about this news with such good cheer is because they're hoping that it'll take the focus off of their financial uh, struggles, their financial strain, their lack of finances. Um, because remember, this person, they're meant to be a queen of pentacles. They're meant to be financially stable, um, resourceful, connected. They're meant to have money. But it doesn't seem like they have money, right? And they need the focus, the, the shine, the attention to be taken off their lack of finances, their struggles, their misfortunes, their bad karma. They need the attention to be taken off of them. So that's why they're so, like, extra chipper about this bad news about your um, breakup, your ending, your divorce, whatever it is. It's kind of like they're deflecting the bad news that's happening in their life with your bad news. But it's, it's like you're talking about something that doesn't really um, matter. So the karmic queen of pentacles is also, it's like she's gung-ho about this bad news happening to you. All right. Um, somebody is questioning that. They're kind of like, why are you so invested in this so-and-so's breakup or so-and-so's divorce or so-and-so's ending. Like, why are you so invested? Somebody is now paying attention to this karmic, uh, the star in reverse, these family members of yours or this Aquarius. And the only reason why they're, it's kind of like they're trying to blanket um, the fact that they don't really have any other, they, they can't, they don't know your plans. So it's kind of like they're trying to exaggerate the ending that's happening in your life. Okay, that's the best way I can put it. They're trying to exaggerate this breakup, this divorce, this ending, this union, that whatever. They're trying to like exaggerate it and continuously talk about it and continuously br um, bring it up. Because it's like, it, it'll take the focus off of their secrets that are like kind of out in the open. Right? Okay, so that's that. <sighs> Um, uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. this person is like in debt, financial debt. Um, so that's another secret that they're trying to, they're losing more money than they're getting. Also, whoever this person is, this karmic queen of pentacles, this top, I don't want to say karmic, but they're very, definitely toxic. Uh, this toxic queen of pentacles, she's feeling boxed in or like claustrophobic or like stuck. Like she's like, uh, everything is like closing in on her. That's how she feels. For some of you, like this could be a king of pentacles, a toxic king of pentacles, but... That's how they're feeling. They're feeling like boxed in, stuck, claustrophobic, like they can't breathe. And it really, it has to do because of their lack of finances. It's like their lack of finances is making them feel like, let me out, let me out. I, I just, I, I can't, I can't, right? It's like that. So this person could also be feeling some sort of like anxieties due to finances or lack of finances. That's another secret that they're trying to hide by um, over-exaggerating the endings that are happening in your life or the endings that happened in your life. Like this person is really trying to like um, take the attention off of their lack of 
But it's crazy because it's like, I feel like what they're doing doesn't make any sense because, yeah, you can talk about this ending all you want, but at the end of the day, this Queen of Pentacles has plans for, like, the Wheel of Fortune, and it's happening. And God is, like, making sure this happens. So that's weird. That's why somebody is kind of like, why are you so invested in um, the collective Queen of Pentacles? For some of you, you could be this collective King of Pentacles. I know there's a lot going on right now, but you just have to, like, pay attention. All right? So there's a toxic king or queen of pentacles and then there's a collective king or queen of pentacles right so um that's that's what's coming up uh page of pentacles reverse on top of the three of swords reverse and then knight of cups reverse on the bottom of the deck Page of Pentacles reverse. Well, who's being um, impulsive? Somebody is being impulsive. They're not being patient. Oh, this is this is you, collective. Let me rephrase that. It's not that you're being impatient or impulsive. It's just that you don't. The way you see it, it's like you don't have time to be in the Three of Swords. That's, it's like, why am I going to be in the Three of Swords for when I can just put that energy into my Two of Wands to get my Wheel of Fortune? Because remember, these two cards, it's the Two of Wands first and then the Wheel of Fortune on top. That's what's going on. You, It's like you, Collective. All right, yeah, this ending happened. This broke up happened. This job, I didn't get this job or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, Knight of Cups reverse. Whatever didn't happen, didn't happen. Okay, it is what it is. But, you know, um, it's like you're not letting that keep you in the Three of Swords upright. It's really, it's kind of like you just, the way it's coming out is like you don't have time to, like, be in heartbreak. Or you, you just, like, okay, it is what it is. It happened. Like, I, I, the world is still going to keep going. The world isn't going to stop because an ending happened. I mean, in this situation, right? So that's the Page of Pentacles. You're not going to stop. You're going to keep going. So there are people that could be like, somebody thinks it's weird at the fact that you're not like grieving an ending. You're in the Page of Pentacles reverse, Three of Swords reverse. It's kind of like, all right, well, this happened. Let me just keep on going. And people are looking at you like, don't you don't you need to cry? Don't you need to grieve? Don't you need to feel sad? Don't you need like a couple months to <clears throat> to like do nothing and just kind of like feel sorry for yourself? And you're just like, no, no, I don't have time. I've got I've got things to do. Right? I've got things to do. You know, I've got fortune to plan. I don't have time to sit here and cry. I gotta keep going. Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're just, it's not like you don't care. <clears throat> oh my gosh. It's not like, oh, no, 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 baby. Hold on. Um, I know my baby. So it's not like you don't care. I know my baby. Um, with the Knight of Cups, of... hold on. Um, so what was I saying? With the Knight of Cups reverse. Uh, I don't feel like it's not that you don't care. It's just that you're not trying to, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to say it like this, but in a way, there's no reason for you to kind of, like, stop what you're doing just because of an ending. Knight of Cups reverse, Nine of Pentacles. So, somebody wants you to feel insecure, but you're not. With the Nine of Pentacles here, you're very independent, self-sufficient, um, healing, 
growing, working on things, watering your garden, whatever it is that you're doing, it's like somebody wanted you to be affected by this ending in your life. Also, if somebody did magic, if somebody did magic to um, instigate this ending and to like, um, the way that I'm seeing it is, you know how when you start a fire and you blow on the ambers and the ambers get bigger, it's like something like that. If somebody did magic to do that to a relationship to make sure that it would end, the whole point of that was to like make you insecure and stop your plans, stop you from moving on towards the wheel of fortune. But the thing is, here's the kicker, right? Um, this was kind of a catalyst for you to get your plans in motion on your end. Okay. So that's that. Um, yeah. So the whole point was to like, get you to either have this ending happen or, um, get this ending to happen to you or whatever this is. It was supposed to put you in the Knight of Cups reverse. Very insecure, uh, emotionally unstable, volatile. But instead, you was like, I don't have time to be feeling that way. Page of Pentacles reverse. I don't have time. I got to keep going. I don't have time to feel sad or heartbroken about this. Page of Pentacles reverse, Dear Swords reverse. You took that energy and kind of just put it elsewhere it's kind of like you know how like the little google orange guy you know how you can pick him up and then drop him where he needs to go it's kind of like that but with your feelings you're like okay well i'm gonna take these feelings and i'm gonna drop them over here and put them where you know i'm just going to alchemize so you're an alchemy or uh, alchemist yeah you're an alchemist so that's really the kicker of you learning where to put feelings and emotions and utilize them for your benefit so you've got bad things happening to you you're you've got sadness depression anxiety you take those feelings and you place them where you can utilize them and alchemize that energy that is truly truly wonderful i love that skill pluto's warning if your goals become selfish i will aid those who will band together to pull you down as far as your purely material goals are concerned it will be as if you are powerless. So somebody tried to make you feel powerless. And it's the star in reverse. Or these people in your family members that's being led by an Aquarius. Or there is an Aquarius in this mix. A toxic Aquarius. These people only care about finances, material things. And like I said, this toxic Queen of Pentacles, it's like once they got their finances, they kind of just stopped. They stopped going within. They stopped trying to do inner work, shadow work, all that other stuff. They just stopped. Yum, yum, yum. Come to me, come and cook it today. So, that's funny. Um, these people, I feel like they were warned to stop putting ambers in your situations, like, and then stop trying to, because... Like I said, they were like putting ambers under your situations and then blowing on them to like make the flames bigger, like to instigate things. For a lot of you, they could have been doing this with magic, like instigating things, like instigating endings, um, sadness, uh, depression, instigating arguments, instigating conflicts, like a lot of five of wands energy. So this is like really a big instigator. They just instigate a lot of things um, in their environments. Um, around them and their lives, their jobs, their homes. They just instigate things. And they were being warned to stop. Eight, 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 balance. Everything is falling into place as it should. Like I said, this was like, whoever this person was, I feel like their main goal was to get you insecure and like knock you down, pegs. But if anything, they they just did you a favor. It's kind of like you had to kind of be tired of it. You're just like, all right, I'm, I'm done. I'm over this. I'm just going to like focus on what I have to focus on and then just kind of go on about my day. Okay. And unfortunately, 
that included having to let go of things that lack depth, right? Whether it be um, relationships, unions, businesses, whatever it was, whatever relationships or things, it's, they lack depth. This person could have also been trying to do this because you left them behind. So they were trying to make you feel insecure. I know, my baby. I love you. I know, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. All right, let me get one more, and then I'm going to um close it. I know, baby. I'll get two more. Two more. And then, oh, she put the flower in my hair. Thank you, my love. She is so sweet. Trying to block your blessings. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. The reason why the Knight of Cups in reverse came out is if you're feeling insecure, that um, hosts doubt, confusion, anxiety, chaos, depression, anxiety. I said anxiety twice. I feel like that's really apparent. But this person was trying to make you lose confidence in your abilities and your whatever plans that you, you've got. Because the thing is, whatever your plans are, it's bound to lead you into the... Wheel of Fortune. Remember, I said Queen of Fortune. So this person was just like, if I can make the collective insecure, they won't have the confidence to be in this amazing, abundant, fortunate energy. All right, but that's not their business. It's like they were trying to make sure that you wouldn't get what you're supposed to get. Like, this person was being warned. They were so focused on the things that you had that I don't think they realized that they were being warned to leave you and your things alone. Doesn't matter what it was. Leave you and your things alone. Because if not, we're Pluto, celestial bodies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take away all your things. And this person wasn't paying attention. They were listening. But it didn't happen because you're so, your plans are still your plans. All right. And God's making sure that happens. Pluto. I feel like this person really pissed off Pluto. It's like Pluto's like, why are you so focused on end of karmic cycle? Yeah, see? Pluto's like, why are you so focused on what this chosen one has? It's not your business. Focus on what you have. Or let me say, the lack of what you have. All right? So this is a reading. I hope it helps. Bye.